Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Bearable IT. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about filter logic in Salesforce reports. Now, this is one of the more advanced topics of Salesforce reports, so don't be intimidated if you don't catch on immediately. However, it is insanely useful, so it's good to get good at this because it can help prevent you from needing to run multiple reports and then doing a lot of Excel work to get the right answer. So let's pretend your boss comes to you and says that they want a report that contains all of your Salesforce opportunities, which are in this stage qualification or proposal price quote, regardless of any other attributes on them. And they say in that same report, they want you to include all the opportunities that are in the stage value proposition that have an amount more than $100,000. We're going to go ahead and do that now with filter logic. So the first thing you'll need to do is add in your filters stage value proposition and then amount is greater than or equal to 100,000. Now I've got the first half of that request there in this report, but I need the other half. So now I'm going to add in the stage filter a second time, and we're going to put in the qualification and proposal slash price quote stage. Now I've got no records in my report. However, we're going to go to the filter logic. So click on this arrow, then press add filter logic. And you can see it starts with one and two and three. These numbers represent the filter logic over here on the left hand side. So each of these little steps you added is corresponding to one of these numbers. So I want numbers one and two to act together and filter together. So I'm going to put a parentheses around 1 and 2. Now, if I just left this and here, I still wouldn't get the right result because it's impossible for the value proposition to be the stage and at the same time for the stage to be one of these other two. So I need to do an or statement here. And by doing this, I get the exact set that I need to give my boss the report they asked for. This saved me from running two reports or Excel. And one nice thing about filter logic is that it can get very advanced. You can have, you know, eight, 10 filters and be doing and statements and all kinds of parentheses around them. It doesn't get any more advanced than that. All filter logic is, is a bunch of and and or statements and parentheses. It's going to take some time to get familiar with it, but trust me, once you do, you'll be glad you did. So that's all I have in this video. I hope it was helpful. If, this, if it was helpful, please go ahead and leave a like and comment below letting me know what you think would be helpful for improving the videos or other topics to cover. And as always, thanks for watching.